This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description. So we are getting ready to head to locals, just waiting for Jam to come pick us up. By chance, the giveaway on the channel was done and uh, <clears throat> the winner didn't respond to me. You can go check out the comments if you don't believe me. But the winner didn't respond and so it goes to the runner up and the runner up by chance, happens to go to my locals, so uh, he'll be getting the box today. So we are rolling into Northampton on our way to meet the lads to go get the usual breakfast. Today we are continuing with the dyno run, we're playing Go Second Dyno. We're actually siding the scrap engine, uh, the logic being that if I go second I'm probably just going to win anyway. Uh, and if my opponent forces me to go first, I just side it in and go absolutely mental on the combos. I just hope for the best. So we'll see how that goes, it might be an interesting one today. We've had a little bit more time to do some test hands, but not anything insane so today will be the first live testing of the deck uh, and you've got your new deck as well i have indeed so you're feeling confident about that loving it can't wait for it to be fully sparkle on tuesday yeah and he's gonna do lots of studying so hopefully more studying than i've ever done in my life lots of packs that's the, that's the trick lots of packs that's Unless what we, we want play each other and then that's a waste well yeah that's true that's true Anyway, we'll have to go get some food as usual, so I'm sure you'll see a nice little clip of that in a moment. This feels like a running theme here. We're the early ones, and we left late. There you go. Stood out here waiting to go in for breakfast. Can't do much until they're here because they're the ones that booked the table, so hurry the fuck up, you absolute goons. Have you had a nap? I've been awake actually the whole time. Fuck off. Oh, you mustn't have had any Red Bull then. No, no Red Bull yet. No Red Bull yet. The Red Bull puts you to sleep. That's what I'm saying. He's definitely not had any. Them nips are, they're strong today. Yeah. Cool. It's all that it's all about body, body positivity. Yeah, that's it. That's what we're all about around here. It's, it's all it is though. Body positivity. You went, someone like Sam, yeah? If you went topless, no one would say anything. As soon as a fat person, oh, look at him. Got tits out. Yeah, it's great though, isn't it? Top Everyone top. likes tits. So, there is that. Body, body, top, top, yeah. body positivity doesn't mean body addition. It's ridiculous amount of coke for breakfast. Where did he go? Did he go to the fruity? That's where he's at. What video? He's gone to the fruity. All the way over there. In the background, gambling instead of playing Yu-Gi-Oh! and eating breakfast. Oi. And then the other, goons, the other goons have arrived as well. Thank you very much, sir. Showing the American viewers how breakfast is done. Hey. What's that? Giveaway. I didn't actually win. <laughs> you, you were the runner up and the winner didn't get back to me. Oh, sick. There you go, free box, enjoy. Easy. Fam, if that's your outside. I know, I'm gonna be pissed and I opened the wrong box. Oh, oh, that's what you want to do. Yeah. Oh, how many of these? I need one. So this is the backup giveaway winner since he got runner up and the actual winner didn't get in contact with me. So sad for you if you're watching this. He's gonna pull something insane. I'm almost certain of it. That's not insane. Not yet. Not yet. I mean, it's free, so it's insane either way, but you know. Free money is free money. I'm just interested to see whether I pull, whether I open the, the good box or whether I'm gonna be filled with regret. 
you got a diviner at yours, right? I know, yeah, yeah. This could be pretty hard to top that, but it could happen. If we get to Starlight, then it's GG. Look at this. Pack opening expertise. We're not halfway through a box, less than a minute. Oh. Same as your thing, huh? Yeah, time ticket. They're so desensitized to pack openings. I don't care about anything when I already know what uh, I'm uh, Super. <laughs> super. Okay, uh, terrible box. It's a free box. Oh, okay. It's not a terrible one. Why is it free? Because uh, in my giveaway, and basically what I did was I selected a bunch of people off a like random generator. I picked like 20 people, I put them into a spinning wheel, and then just did elimination. And he was second to last. It's a bit um, And then the winner didn't respond to me, so he got he got the he got the free box. Got pity box. Hey, free box, a free box. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when anything's free, what does it matter? Oh, sad. What was the secret? Oh, yeah. Uh, time ticket in the drain thing. Well, so far, I definitely opened the right box. I mean, to be fair, it's still free. You can't. Well, work. yeah, I mean, it's free either way, but you know. Free real estate. There we go, Starlight. Starlight. No bueno. That's okay. Free box. Free box. Free box. Round one down, we played against Tenman, who was playing uh, Numeron. We already knew that, so game one, he makes you go first. I pass turn, turn one, uh, knowing that he can't OTK in and hope for the best. Uh, he manages to get the win anyway after a couple of turns, so it is what it is. Um, and then round two, um, no, game two, sorry, of round one, uh, I managed to get the win there. Uh, I go Duster, he goes Solemn, I go Reboot, and he doesn't have the out for it. He had a second uh Solomon Hamby didn't play it down before that, so that was fortunate. Uh, and then game three, he managed to get the win. Uh, a bit of back and forth, but managed to get over the line there. So uh, we're going to round two, one down. We are on the hardest table of the day, so it's going to be high competition all day, which is good. Good for helping me learn the deck and getting improved on the deck, but probably not quite as good for packs. We are not off to the best start today. <laughs> uh, we played against prank kids, at Emancipator, sort of thing. A uh, comma's off. He immediately loses to every hand trap. I just don't see any, so <laughs> fuck my life, right? Uh, game one, I see uh, double ash. Okay, so I can stop one thing and then he has uh, an extender and just goes off. Um, and then basically managed to break his board, which was Savage, Appaloosa, um, but I've also used all my resources in the process. Uh, he was out of resources and effect effectively we were both just sort of top decking and stuff trying to literally draw in the car playing it draw in the car playing it until we could get somewhere uh, i made a small misplay in that i should have i made a uh, phoenix to get a big body on board so i could punch over herald that he'd managed to get onto board um what i should have done was make lambda because i actually had a gamma in hand so that was a misplay on my part so fully accept that although it was a, a game i had no right to even get that far into and then uh, game two uh, he just combos i draw him um don't see any of the other stuff that I've sided in for him. I had like 12 hand traps in the main and saw one. So there you go. And then he TTTs me, uh, rips the Pancratops I'm left with Misk, Lost World, and like one other card. And then he ends up, you know, multiple negates. Uh, so the next turn, it's essentially summon Giant Rex with Lost World, beat over his Appaloosa. I hope I see something in the next turn. I didn't. So he just combos off, makes access code talker, and then it's game. So we're going into round three, uh, currently two down. So feeling a bit shit. But there you go. It's a mixture of things, but there you go. Nothing you can do. So, fingers crossed the next one's a little bit better. So, our fortunes change for round three. Uh, we were against Solomon, who you saw win the box from the giveaway. Uh, he was playing some crazy Ignista thing, uh, which I have no idea what it does, so I couldn't remember. So, 
just hope for the best. Um, fortunately, game one went my way. I opened the right hand traps and that kind of thing. Uh, and then game two, he just didn't see any starters. So I just I managed to, uh, it was a bit slow, but eventually I got to a point where I got Lost World, saved the token from destruction, popped the baby from deck, and then it just went off for the rest of that turn. And I ended on like basically a full board. Um, so yeah, it got, it got pretty silly. So uh, that's that. So we we go one and two for locals one. Obviously we got locals two coming up shortly. So we'll see how we get on then. But again, like I said, on a pretty hard table full of players who know exactly what they're doing. So it wasn't going to be the easiest ride anyway. So there you go. So let's see how we get on after the next one. Oh. Ultra. Hey Brandy, nice mask. It's very cute. Yeah? So we are straight to round two of Locals 2. Uh, the round one went to uh, time. I was playing against Tri Brigade Zoo. We lost in time. Literally got to battle phase as the uh, the old buzzer went and we were down by about a thousand life points. So it was one of them. It could have gone either way right at the end there. But uh, So it was a pretty good matchup. Good back and forth. Uh, good grind. Um, and then round two was against Striker. Uh, game one. I just I did too much. He couldn't play. I scythed him as well. I didn't know it was against striker. Um, by chance I scythed him and then had any other outs I needed to. He was just like, right, let's go game two so he could save the knowledge of what he was playing. Uh, and then game two he didn't see much. And then if he did see, I did have the out for. So and then we managed to go scythe him again. So that was that. So a um, bit of luck on our side there. Feeling much better though. Of course, one win and one very narrow, narrow loss that could have gone either way. Um, so we'll see how we get on after round three of Locals 2. One, two, three. Oh, yeah, I don't even know what that card is. Yes. <laughs> oh, wait, that's <laughs> really no. Unless you're playing James, I can't <laughs> I pulled that two weeks in a row. So, third and final round down of Locals number two, Electric Boogaloo. Uh, we played against Tri Brigade. Uh, Tri Brigade, was it Harpies? I don't know. They had some wind shit in there. Um, and it was not a positive experience. So you opened the nuts both games. Uh, I opened OK hands, but not enough to do anything significant. So, unfortunate there. So um, three of our four losses today have been uh, have been tri brigades. So I think so. My maths isn't wrong. Um, so yeah, tough day, tough day. Uh, but there you go. That's fine. What can you do? Um, so yes, two and four for the day. Unfortunate. Um, that's fine. It's just to tri brigades better. That's pretty much the in a nutshell. Not done anything wrong. So that's fine. Which is a little bit more forgivable. Uh, Although the downside to that is that it's harder to reconcile with because you can't look at and see what you've done wrong and correct it later on. You just have to accept it. So it is what it is. But that is, well, that's it for today's locals. So thank you for coming along. Mm -hmm.